Hi everyone, my name is John McLenathan, and I know some of y'all are scared about what's going to go on with this coronavirus pandemic, uh, but um, let you know about my history. I'm Jewish by blood and by faith, and my people, we know a lot about uh, history, and of course, if you've ever read up on history, uh, my people have been through a lot. Uh, not saying like you know segregating just for myself, but I know some other uh, genres of uh, people of color and uh, backgrounds have been through the same thing. But uh, nothing compares to what the Holocaust was. Now, exactly what's going on here in this pandemic, on this alleged, I'm saying alleged because it, I don't believe that this uh, allegation of. Uh, uh, actual virus is true it could or could not be uh it could but let me just just hear me out this could actually be uh actually military made by either china or by the u.s and let me tell you why one our economy was not doing so well okay we, we thought we was, uh, yes, uh, unemployment was down, but we were in such debt with China and everything that we cut off. We had to start making tariffs for them, uh, for other countries, so we, we could try to build ourselves back up, and it started hurting us. And then China started making tariffs on us as well. And it was a back and forth trade war. You remember that? A trade war within the last three, four years, right? As soon as Donald Trump became president, there's been a war going on called a trade war. Remember that? And I mean, what does that trade war include? Well, it includes goods and services and also includes work. But... It also includes biological weapons, regular weapons, so, such as Scud missiles, etc. And, you know, and regular military uh, weapons, you know, to be trained with them. So that way, they could stay up off of our ass and really, you know, not hurt us very much. It's that way they wouldn't attack us. But as soon as we put these tariffs on there... I'm pretty sure the whole world got pissed off. And what happens whenever you piss off the strongest uh, country in the world with the most military, the biggest military in the world? I mean, it's not ours. We got the biggest uh, navy in the world, but they have the biggest military uh, in the world. And whenever you uh, piss off the biggest military in the world, you're going to suffer some consequences. So my theory is this, that USA tried to make it. We got upset about them putting tariffs on us. We, we retaliated. Okay? We retaliated. And whenever we retaliated on them with this alleged virus, we planted it right dead in the middle of, of their... Uh, of their market and let it spread like wildfire not thinking that it can affect us as the American people but if the, I mean every government has a backup you know every government has well what they would do if it does get to us and I tell you this is exactly what's gonna happen okay you listening here this is exactly what's gonna happen it's gonna be just like the Holocaust what they're going to do is they're going to tell every American in the United States to close down all restaurants and all businesses, just like the Holocaust. And then after that, they're going to say, okay, now that no one's working, you should not be out past 10 p.m. or 8 p.m. or 5 p.m. at night. I'm serious about this. This is exactly what's going to happen. And whenever they do do this, okay, then they're going to say, well... We cannot leave our homes. Period. The only people that should leave their homes are doctors and nurses. 
And once when they tell us only doctors and nurses can leave our homes uh, to go to work and everybody else has to stay home, then that's whenever they're going to start coming in one by one with the military. Either our military or someone else's military because if everybody's in their home, how can we protect our land? Exactly. Some other military or our own military is going to come in one by one, check us if we have this alleged virus. And if we have this alleged virus, they're going to drag us out of the homes, take us in the back, put us in a freaking in uh, a convoy of some sort or inside of a, uh, a trailer or a bus, bus us, not to the nearest medical facility. But concentration camps, and they're gonna put a fucking bull. They're gonna put a gun to each one of us and a fucking fire, and a fire line, and shoot every single one of us. That's what they're gonna do. You think I'm playing? What's going on with Chicago right now? There is exactly two miles of Humvees headed directly that way. Two miles of it. They're going to quarantine the area, and then everybody is either going to, one, get shot, two, be hospitalized, or three, go to jail. Either way, it's going to happen. Think I'm playing. Look at the gas prices. Gas prices have been dropped extremely. They went from, uh, what, $2.85, almost over $3 a gallon. Three do over $3 a gallon. And within a matter of a week to two weeks... Matter a week to two weeks since this alleged pandemic has happened, and we've known about this virus for the past week. What's gonna ha what what has happened to gas prices? They have dropped to a dollar sixty four a gallon from three dollars. Well, within a matter of a couple of weeks, this has never been heard of in the whole entire United States in the whole entire time of history since automobiles have been made. Not even during the Great Depression. Has that happened? Okay. Prices haven't been this low in the last 18 years. So you really think that everything's okay? That's a good sign? No. No. Military survives on oil prices going up or down. If they go up, the less military they use. They go down, the more military they use. Because they need... Uh, they need gas for the Humvees. They need gas for everything. Everything. Ships. Helicopters. Um, you know, fighter pilots need it for their planes. We need it for the B-52s. We need it for the fucking... Uh, for the Humvees. We need it for, you know, the Apache helicopters. We need it for all this... And it takes a lot of fuel. What's going on in Iraq right now? What's going on in Pakistan? What's going on in Iran right now? What's going on in in uh, South Korea? And what's going on in uh, Africa right now? We are pulling our military out of there. What do you think they're going to do? How do you think they're going to work? What do you think they're planning on doing? What they're going to do is they're come back home because they need to do one thing. I'm going to leave that in the air for you. Think about that. All right. Good luck. Survive. Strap up. And protect your homes. This is John signing out.